want it to be is trouble free and turnkey so when you hook up to that trailer or go to the drag strip or a sled pole, it's, it's good to go. Your considerations for building a trans should be twofold. One is how much horsepower are you making, and two, how are you using it? So if you have a truck that makes 500 horsepower, but you drive it around like a grandma, and you don't tow with it, you don't use it aggressively, you're probably gonna be okay on the stock transmission for a while. If you are making a lot of power, and you're putting it to the ground, and you're towing, uh, you're gonna feel that torque converter clutch slip, uh, or you're gonna feel the truck going to limp mode if you have a five-speed transmission. You're, you're gonna overrun the factory components fairly soon after 400 horsepower, and that's 400 horsepower to the tire. The nice thing about the Allison is when it fails, it's usually a clutch slip issue. So it slips clutches, it builds heat, it fries the clutch pack. It's supposed to be that nice orange color. Pretty black. You know, unfortunately that pushes a lot of junk through the system. So it's, this is a C2, that's your... But it doesn't usually fail hard parts. Not unless you keep driving it. Okay, so once you feel it start to chatter, or once you feel it going to limp mode a couple times, it's time to get the trans built. You don't want to push that thing till it doesn't move in your driveway, because then you've moved a lot of clutch material through the system, and you're going to have to replace other stuff. It ranges who gets their trans built. I mean, most guys are doing it because they want to put a set of injectors in it or a different turbo. Uh, but there's also that guy that just wants to tow his trailer and not have to worry about it. So one of the other things I like to do is just go through and clean these valves. And I'll take a light piece of sandpaper and just go over the valves, get all the rough edges, the sharp edges off of them, so that when I put it back together, they fit and slide in the valve body nice and freely so they don't have any issues of sticking in there and giving you codes and ultimately having to remove the valve body again. Take all the pieces, we'll put them into our hot water parts washer. Make sure it's got all of the nasty grit, old fluid. Make sure that is all off of the parts. We'll take them, set them on our bench. We'll look at all the bearings, bushings, washers. Let's look at all the gear faces, make sure those are good. We wanna go through and just make sure all of the reuse parts are, are good to go back in the trans. If there's anything that needs to be replaced, now is the time to do it. You always want to be looking at everything when you're putting it back together or taking it apart. If you see, I'm always looking to see if there's something I haven't seen in another trans before. The clean room we have here, it's completely sealed off from the shop. It's all going back together clean. There's no dust flying around or particles that can get in somewhere. The clean room is designed to be a laboratory. It's designed to have an institutional feel so that when Owen is in there, he feels like a transmission doctor. <laughs> you know what I mean? He goes in there, it's clean, it's neat, everything is in its place, there's nobody in there bothering him. He has time to pull out each part, inspect it, look at it, set it aside. There's nobody in his hair. And that's what you need when you're building a precision part like that. So this is it. We've done the initial test drive with the truck when it got dropped off. Checked the pump pressure in the trans before we took it out, make sure it was good. We took the trans out, fully went through it all new clutches and went through the valve body and now we're back in the truck. We've, uh, we've put some miles on this trans. Uh, they have to kind of go through that relearn procedure. It does some goofy shifts and everything uh, initially when you get the truck back together but uh, we put some miles on it and this one's turned out really great. The customer is really going to like it. There's a big difference between the way a stock transmission couples and puts power to the ground than one of our built transmissions. I mean, the, the second you feel that torque converter clutch lock on a built transmission, and it just puts you in the seat in fourth, fifth, and sixth gear, I mean, it's a, it's a cool feeling. And it's an addictive feeling, and it's a lot of fun. And the Allison, when built and done right, has the ability to do that for hundreds of thousands of miles uh, consistently. It's a, it's a nice feeling when it's under you and doing its job.
If you enjoyed this video but aren't close enough to bring your truck to us for a build, you really ought to check out this next video where we go over our DT series of transmissions, which are parts that we ship nationally. Any questions? Give us a call at 815-568-7920. I'm Nick Pregnance, DuramaxTuner.com. Thanks for watching.